default which came into place on the 1st of July the year 2010 was preceded by a customs union. The common market meant that businessmen across the various East Africa community countries, that is Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda and Burundi, now had unrestricted access to a pooled market of 126 million people, having been restricted to small internal markets in various member countries previously. There, however, remains a lot to be done with the private sector in Kenya, noting that various hurdles still exist. Some of the challenges that business still have under the pillar of the rights of establishment include the requirement of work permits and payment for work per payments of the same, recognition of qualification for professionals and obtaining licenses from professional bodies to practice and cumbersome local authorities' legal and administrative frameworks. It is important, therefore, that all partner states reform their respective legislations to be in tandem with the Common Market Protocol. In addition, there is need to fast track the harmonization of standards for most traded goods. While there are over 4,000 standards, only approximately 1,500 have been harmonized. The advent of the Common Market Protocol required the elimination of various existing barriers to trade, including those physical, regulatory and administrative. Many such barriers are enshrined in obscure laws governing processes such as cross-border migration. Recently, both Kenya and Uganda have waived work permit fees for EAC citizens, while other members are working on eliminating theirs. Uh, there is the issue of academic and professional qualifications. We need to uh, be able to recognize others' uh, qualifications. And for this, uh, um, there is... Uh, uh, we agreed that professionals, the various professionals, uh, sign uh, mutual recognition agreements. And so far, uh, Kenya, Uganda, we have uh, signed uh, two agreements, especially for accountants and auditors, and of course, architects. One other contentious issue in the past has been the axle load policy with Kenya having favored the 48-ton limit for trucks, contrary to other states which had favored 56 tons with a 7-axle configuration on trucks. The issue is now, however, at rest with all countries harmonized to 56 tons and various road infrastructure being upgraded as a result. Construction work is scheduled to commence on Wundanyi, Taveta, Arusha Road, which recently secured funding from the African Development Bank to the tune of 19.5 billion Kenya shillings. Construction work on the Kenyan side of the road will receive Kenya shillings 9.5 billion, while the United Republic of Tanzania will receive the other amount, which is Kenya shillings 10 billion. In August of 2013, ministers from the region are expected to sign a protocol to mark the advent of the common currency for the region, as per the timetable for integration. A heads of state summit to ratify the decision is slated for November of 2013. This is the Nairobi Mombasa Highway, part of the really busy northern corridor that connects the Kenyan coast to the East African hinterland. And as the vehicles speed along this really busy highway, moving goods and services within the EAC, the inexorable march towards further integration of the East Africa community continues. Peter Okamba, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.